Uh, so we're going to talk about exploring white privilege today. We're going to need six volunteers. I need three people, people who have a strong perspective about, about white privilege. They're like, have a perspective. You've got to critique on it. If someone asks you about it, you could be like, oh, yeah, no, I can talk about white privilege. I got this. A white person who grew up in the middle or upper middle class white world. Wow. Now, I need, now I need a poor white person. And then I need a wealthy black or brown person. So here we go. So, bro, give us something about you. So you're like, you, t- you two are, you're just here. You can actually, you can actually move your seats just away a little bit. Just to, you're, on, you're on, bro. Tell us about yourself. White guy. Uh, I'm a sophomore here. I'm from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Uh, what are you I'm studying? Finance. Finance. Oh, you want to be in finance, yeah? Yeah, that's that's yeah. That's, that's the, the goal. ticket to what? So you got you. What, what's your background? What do your parents do? Uh, my mom is an office manager, and my dad is retired. Yeah? And so, you, so you're here studying finance? Yes. You're in a frat? Yes. What, the EX frat? <laughs> that's, that's what some call it, yeah. What is it? Uh, Sigma Chi. Sigma Chi? Oh, you guys aren't on probation or anything? I thought, it seems like half the frats are on probation. Not right now, no. All right. <laughs> probably <laughs> g- give it another week. You probably will be. All pretty, right, so here's what I want. Monet, Dalton, Allaire. I want you to explain this guy his white privilege. Uh, he was an engineer. So, oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Did you get that? Oh, all right. Do you want to start? Oh, yeah. I was just going to ask. So hold, both, hold it, hold it Mike, really Did tight. both of your parents go to college? No, neither of them did. Neither of them went to college? And he became an engineer? Yes. How do you ask? Uh, one of his best friends started a company, and he's good with math. So was there like a connection, like a friendly? Yeah, they used to like race together, uh, cars. <laughs> it's, it's, go ahead. Any other questions? So your your job is to explain his wife. He he doesn't know why he doesn't get. He, he's not, he doesn't get his, dude, look at this guy, he's, a fucking, he's like a frat, what do you call, who are they, he's like just a frat dude, I suck. come on man. Alright, alright Sean. What, all he thinks about is beer and beer, you know what I mean? I would say women, but whatever, you're, but just beer. He hasn't even got to women yet, it's just beer. Bro. So you're going to explain why privilege yeah, is this guy. Yeah, alright, so. The, do you, this guy, have you ever... Do you sit? In, do you look in the mirror and think about your white pillars, bro? Not usually, no. Okay. I mean, in other words, never. All right. All right. So the way I look at it is, it's probably a combination, of like two things, right? So the first thing is, you know, if you were to just like say, let's say, like before you were born, right? It was like you're going to be either born white or black, and then you were randomly selected into like one white or black family. You most people, if their goal was to be born into the, like the best opportunity, you would choose white because there's more white people in better opportunities than there are black people in good opportunities. And not only in this country, but like in the whole world. So like all black people and all white people, right? And then another thing is depending on which country you're in, like, you know, America, um, like, I don't know, like I'm white, right? And I have some black friends that say being black never held them back about nothing. And then I have, some, I have some black friends that say, like, their whole life is different because they have all these opportunities that they couldn't get to because they're black. So I, I don't know about that, but that's another perspective, which is that, you know, just like same thing kind of like with being like a man, right, is like you don't know what you're given, right? Because, like, like you, it could be anything. Like, you go to a gro- – like, this is like a little example, but, like, go to a grocery store, right? All right, hang on, assume- hang on, though. Before you give that example, go to Alaire first. We can come back to that. Okay. Um, to express or to tell you about your privilege, I think we should talk about your parents. The fact that both of them um, are seem like they're financially stable and your father became an engineer off the fact of um, having a friend that he raced cars with, that's amazing. Um, that, is, that shows that if an African-American was in that same situation, the likelihood of that would not be um, even existent. Um, also, you're in a frat, so that means you have time to, you know, 
drink beer and hang out with your friends and do stuff like that. On the other hand, a lot of students that have to pay for school, go through school, um, X, Y, and Z don't have that luxury. So right there you have the luxury of being in a frat, having parents that are able to provide for you. I feel like it's not necessarily just your parents, you're, you, like you yourself, you're not the privilege. The privilege is in society, and that's just because, like, America. Like, America was built on white privilege, so it's kind of, it's like so, like, you see, it's enrooted. Like, it's not even, it's subconscious. So when an employer, like, let's say your mom walks in to, like, a job, you said she's office management something like that yeah yeah so let's say when she walks in there you know she'd have the same tone and then like some of another look our aspects have the same tone and the employer subconsciously is just gonna gravitate more towards her maybe because the other person comes off aggressive but they're doing the same exact thing and like he just said if someone of like another race were to say something like what what she just said, yeah, or something like what I just said, in the same exact tone, it would be subconsciously interpreted another way. So that's why, like, the privilege comes into the way society, like, automatically views a certain group. It's like, one group is automatically subconsciously viewed as aggressive, while the other seems like, oh, you know, this is more suited for the workplace, different things like that. So it's not just, like, you and your family itself. It's America, and I feel like in order for us to fix, like, that part of America, which you know, was made in like the 1800s and slavery and Jim Crow and all that. I feel like we have to acknowledge like that it's a thing and that's like we have to circumvent it in that way. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Um, dude, what do you, what do you, so what, tell us about your white privilege here. They're laying it out to you. What do you have to say? Um, <laughs> what, what I'm getting I can't wait till your frat <laughs> brothers are watching this. They, are, they still are right now. Um, I I don't. They're kind of making it seem that I was born into it, and uh, that we that us as whites have a better opportunity because of the subconscious mind. No, just you. Just like uh, me? you have a better opportunity. Yeah, just just me. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? Yeah. This, yeah. No. Or you don't see it. I don't. Maybe I don't. Yeah. Sure. I don't see it. Let's go with that. All right. So okay, that's cool. Got it. So this is, mind you, this this is what what we're dealing with, right? It's like we got to find a way to say it. We're gonna come back to you for a second, bro. But in the meantime, I wanna. We're gonna come back to you real fast. Given what you said, it's built into society. So. Dude, you did nice, dude. You know, I don't. So, t what? What's your story? Um, You're white, right? Yeah. So my parents are divorced, um, and when they got divorced, my mom wasn't working. Um, so it's kind of just been like slowly working up to where we are now. Um, but even then, I would consider us pretty poor. Like we've never owned a house. We've been running pretty much my entire life. My dad was remarried, and his family like makes more money than us. But with me, my sister primarily living with my mom, we, I would consider us pretty poor. But okay, so how do you how do you incorporate her into it, bro? You can join in on this. How do you incorporate that? Because you said it's built into society. Yeah, it she is must built be in, in living society, in a different society. But there's anomalies like at the same time. Like I feel like white privilege and saying, oh, every single white person is like privileged. But at the same time, like factually speaking, you know, your family, not you specifically, but people in general, their families are more likely to have generational wealth just because of simply the way like America is built. Like you're built to more likely have privilege in society. Okay, bro, do you want to respond to her? Like how would you incorporate her? Um, well, uh, I was also grew up kind of poor. Where'd you grow up, bro? Well, I grew up in Lehigh and it's like a small town, kind of like pretty far east from here. Okay. It's like pretty depressed town. So hot, and okay, then, what, depressed? Yeah, there's like, like a lot of like, deep, this it's actually mostly white, but I mean, there's a lot of people doing drugs. This is like not a good place to grow up, and it was really bad environment. So like that wasn't white privilege, you know what I mean? So like, but I don't really think that has anything to do with white privilege, because like there's black people that are very rich and very famous, and there's white people that are very poor. It doesn't necessarily mean that white privilege doesn't exist. So this doesn't this doesn't negate white privilege. Well, how would you? How no, do you, it's okay. just an outlier. Yep, I got you. How do you um, incorporate her story into it? So I think that white privilege talks about how you can access agency like what can you do so like say hypothetically you're saying that you grew up poor however you do attend a PWI and I feel like 
that that up that that in itself gives you a privilege versus somebody who let's say that was um person of color in your situation mom wasn't working x y and z would they still have the opportunity to attend penn state so i'm not necessarily saying i'm not invalidating anybody's experiences because i feel like it's all valid but what i'm saying is that white privilege sometimes gives you the freedom to access better opportunities and it's since solely off because you are um white okay so you, you, you caught that, right? You, that, you, that's, you, you said that really well. Like, you oh, know what I mean? Thank you. No, no, no. You, like, you laid that. That's the point that you're going to lay out. It's mm -hmm. like it gives you a certain amount of uh, privileges just being white. However, here's the however. however. Man, you, you, are, you are walking on a razor's edge I to know. say that like, she, her being white, somehow this... This is in this some kind of microwave or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a razor's edge. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. But let's say, like, even as far as like funding, and I'm not saying you in particular, but I'm saying, if if it comes down, if you present your story and somebody else presents their story, who who would get scholarships? Who would get funding? And I'm not saying I don't I don't know your financial background. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that if you take a black person and a white person on equal playing fields, you go up in a poor neighborhood, drug infested, so on and so on. Who has the better chances of making it out? And that's where white privilege plays a role. So I'm not saying, I'm not saying like, oh, well, white privilege, you're gonna get to do all this and all that. I'm not saying that, but if me and you are on an equal playing field, come from the same background, socioeconomics, then will we still have access to the same things? Probably not. Okay, hang on. Will we still have access to the same things, right? Right. So what do you, what do you think about that? What do well, you think about your white privilege? I definitely do think that even though I am on, I guess, the lower class level, I still think that white privilege exists. Like, I agree with your statement. And it's like, I don't want to say it's not hey, something that we can help, but it's just how people look at things today. And, wait, can and, you give me an example, though? Because, hang on, that's a, you, you know what she just, can I just say, hey, everyone, can, can I just, say this really fast that's a script that's one of the scripts that your generation has learned it's like yeah i know i have a i this isn't bad like you're good like you're you're the good you're a good white person right yeah <laughs> you, you learn you learn the script i know i have a certain amount of privilege. man you could be living on the streets eating rats for dinner eating whatever and you could still be like Oh, no, but I got the script, but I still have privilege because I'm white. It's like, hang on a sec. To go back, give me one way in which you have white privilege. Your whiteness gives you privilege. Oh, my God. I mean, I haven't, like, I don't know. I haven't had a situation, at least in my life yet, where that has come into play, where I've been against someone who's not white. And it was like I needed a different opportunity. But, like, for example, like job opportunities, I'm sure that m more in the future would necessary would probably presented be presented to someone who is white rather than someone who's of color um i don't know what we were talking about financial aid and stuff like scholarships and stuff um mm -hmm. being able to go to penn state um i don't know i mean i i really haven't been put into a position yet in okay. my life where okay that has happened but can can i say to you all and to everybody else as far as i know penn state has no scholarships dedicated for poor white people. I don't think there's a single one out there. Yeah, right now, I can't receive more financial aid this semester, so I have like a $2,000 bill that I gotta figure out how to pay in like the next two weeks, uh -huh. which sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah. and you, okay, so hang on real fast, we're gonna come back. How long would it take you to pay her $2,000 bill? You're Puerto, she's Puerto, what? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But um, so in my opinion, like white privilege is a real thing. And I really do think white people have an advantage over minorities. However, there also is a big divide between the rich and poor. And I think that's a whole separate issue. So, and, okay, go ahead, go ahead. And yeah, so I feel like you're less privileged than me. Cause well, like I don't have money, but my parents have money and it's nice. So I don't have to worry about certain things that you have to. Like, so, like, how much money? I don't, I don't want specifics, but, like, a lot of money. Your parents are really rich. I mean, They're wealthy. like, yeah. Like, you could call them right now and say, I need $2,000 because I got to give it to my classmate. And well, they, no, they make me work for things. No, no, I got you, I got you. But, but you could. If you needed two grand, you could get it. Yeah. Okay. 
dude, just trying to hook you up, my friend, all right? <laughs> Look, so how do you, so how do the three of you make, she's Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, Puerto Rican, so you have, like in the United States, you have Native, Amer Native Americans, right? Then you have black Americans, then you have Puerto Rican Americans, then Mexican Americans, and so on. So, like, how do you incorporate her into the way society is organized? Since she clearly has far more privilege and power than her. But that's, looking at you, looking between the two, you wouldn't be able to tell. And it's, it's all about the optics. And that's how America works. It's all about the optics? I agree. Yeah? Yeah, like we don't know their intersectionality yet until they open their mouths. But when we look at you and we make an assumptions, and I'm not saying myself, but how America generalizes, we don't know that you have to pay $2,000. We don't know that your family's wealthy. So, I mean, at the end of the day, how does that work in your favor? At the end of the day, looking at you, you're still white. Yeah, but okay, so listen, man. So hang on, hang on. <laughs> what, you, what I just heard you say was that in the end, Right. So tell me if I'm wrong here. Right. But what I think I just heard you say was it really in the end. She's as well off or better off than her. What I'm hearing you say, though, and you I want you to to you to respond to this is that she's still she's still better off. In what ways is she better off than her, man? Like in what ways? Like I don't see from any the, way from, in which the, she's... from the visual, like before you get to know them, before they open their mouths, what do you assume? Yeah, but come on, man. You're, you're gonna, so now what I'm doing is I'm sitting out, okay, I'm sitting out here, all right? Bro, I'm sitting next to you, okay? Our, I'm sitting out here and I'm just the average person who's thinking about this stuff, right? And I'm like, man, you have not made a convincing argument because her, what's your, what's your name again? Alexandria. But Alexandria. Alice. Alex. I'm just like, come on, man. You, your framework doesn't account for the fact that Alex's family is rich and her family, rich. I'm just going to say But they're rich. two separate issues. Oh, yeah, we're talking about race and white privilege and we're talking about the wealth inequality um, gap. Two different yeah, but white privilege is also about wealth and inequality. They're all together. I don't know how you could separate them. I'm not talking about, are we talking about, well, she won't get followed around in a store by a security guard, but, but you will? It's like, come on, man, white pr So that's how you're defining white privilege? So, so I would say open it up because we're throwing this idea around here. It's like, damn, because she, I'm, and by the way, I'm just put. I'm just, we're now just, I'm playing, I'm just having the conversation. Like, you got a lot of people sitting right here in her seat that are going like, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, see, I'm not getting this. And you got a lot of people sitting in her seat, who, a person of color, who's got a lot of money, and then we're looking at her and going like, like, dude, all the people in your town are going to look at her and be like, oh yeah, I'd rather be me, the white person, than her? How many people in your graduating class would say that? Well, I graduated from my high school. It was probably like 40% white people. I moved to Easton, which is like a little different than my uh, like hometown. Hometown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. There are some racist people, but most people wouldn't. No, 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 but I'm just asking. Can you, wanna res can you also respond? Yeah, yeah I got you. I, We're mean, gonna come. I was just going to respond to the whole like white privilege thing. I feel like white privilege, it goes in like different aspects, like she said. So I feel like for the aspects regarding like financials and finances and like monetary things, I feel like just statistically speaking, white privilege is basically just saying statistically speaking, if you're a person of like Caucasian background, your family is more likely to have general Generate, uh, generational wealth that's uh, gonna allow you, you know, to be privileged like her and to get in college. But again, there's always anomalies. Like, you know, sometimes your parents or your great grandparents got lucky. Like my great parent, my grandparents came from Jamaica, started a business, and then they like became like millionaires, like in New York. So there's always anomalies, but at the same time, it's gonna be diff like it's difficult. So her herself, like if she steps in a place. You know, her employer knows nothing about her background, and these two women come into one job market, and, you know, the employer is someone of, like, basic, you know, American views, are like, uh, views that are commonly seen in America, like, one person is more likely to get the job than the other, so it's, it's okay. like in finances, and it's like... Okay, listen, man, so one thing you just said, your, so your grandparents became millionaires in New York? Well, like... Like, yeah. a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, so right there, the moment you say that, you understand, 
if I'm her, if I'm, I'm you, I'm just like, and now I'm in a class and we're going to start throwing words around like race inequality and white privilege and this and that, and I'm you. What do you think, she, what do you think she's thinking? I feel like, I mean, she'd probably think, I feel like it's still, it's still weird though, because it's still like an anomaly. That's just one person in my whole entire family that allowed me to be where I am today. I got But you. like on average, like there's going to be percentile wise, there's going to be more people, more white people, like of Caucasian background who have like two parents, two grandparents yep, yep, of that yep. same background. And that's where the privilege comes in. Okay. So listen, man, let me just so come, come back. This is, this would take a long time to air out. Absolutely. Like you got to look at the numbers. We're going to look in, at this class, at n not just individual examples, obviously numbers. But what I'm trying to point out is like, first off, this guy right here, dude, the, the white guy, he's, just, you know, like we throw these words around and we throw stuff around and we take classes like 119 and we throw words and we expect everyone to get the white privilege stuff. And it's like people aren't getting, it's not landing. It's not going to land. It just doesn't land until we, the, it, until we, until we breathe.